This is a date, by the way. If you're really confused as to what this is, it's not a giant raisin. Mm. This gooeyness. I've never actually really been a fan of dates. It's because I haven't been eating the proper medjool dates. Big, fat, juicy medjool dates. They're a very high energy fruit, which is great for in the morning. So that was the first thing I've eaten all day. And I do like to kickstart my days with like fruit because it will just digest pretty quickly and give me the energy that I need in the morning straight away. Dates are very sweet, but they're naturally very sweet. And personally, I love the sweetness of fruit. I think sweets and stuff that's artificially sugary, I think that's too sweet for me. I don't really like that. It doesn't have all your antioxidants, your vitamins, your minerals that you get in fruit. So fruit is so good for you. Now let's make my official breakfast. Let's get out the frozen bananas. I froze two bananas yesterday. Let's eat some. Love that. We're gonna make a pink one. So I've got some frozen strawberries. A bit of almond milk. Maca powder. Flag seed. And what else? Non-frozen bananas. Mm-hmm. I stocked up yesterday, can you tell? They're all like really unripe. I'll probably have a kiwi. Which one's ripest? This dude, come with me. In your blender. My good old Breville Blend Active. This is gonna be two frozen bananas going in. Minus a little bit, because I need to get about half of this non-frozen one. And then I'll put a bit on top. Mmm, stringy bit. Frozen straws. Mmm, sticky hands. Eesh. Like a teaspoon, whoa, hello. And not a teaspoon, sorry. You want about a tablespoon? So that's probably about a tablespoon that's just gone flying in. Organic maca powder, which you don't actually need that much of, so don't go put in a tablespoon of maca powder in. Whoa, it smells really good, this stuff. I've only been using it really recently. These things are normally really expensive, but we got them reduced. Then you want a dash of almond milk. Liquid-wise, I never measure it. We're trying to make an ice cream thick texture, so we don't want that much. Then we'll add a bit of water to help it blend because I don't want to be breaking my blender. I have done that before because I'm a bit over ambitious with blending frozen stuff. All right. Oh, hello. It's going to need a big shake. <laughs> the texture is looking good. <laughs> the story of my life. Oh, I've got some good stuff. I've got some good stuff to top it with. It's just like clapped water in my eye. Okay, this banana that I have left, this kiwi, whole grain puffed rice cereal, and I've never had this stuff before, and I've always wanted it. Kalo, Kalo, I don't know. Some cacao nibs. When you eat kiwis, make sure they're like really squishy because it will seriously make a difference to eating kiwis. If you eat kiwis when they're unripe, they have a very tangy taste and it will leave your mouth a bit itchy maybe. That's with any fruit really, you should eat it ripe. Also, can you eat kiwi skins? Oh my gosh. People are like, seriously, you eat the kiwi skin? Yes, you can. <laughs> I'm still here, so clearly it's not toxic. But obviously if you don't like it, you don't have to eat it. I'm not saying you have to eat this kiwi skin. It's totally up to you, but I choose to eat it for the extra fiber, you know. So then I'm gonna put it in my coconut bowl and you can always get discount with coconut bowls because I worked with them on their cookbook and stuff. Fully 10, 10% 10 discount on anything from coconut bowls. Oh yes, banana, kiwi. Oh, oh my gosh, look at this. Whole grain brown rice, that is it. Whoa. You can't even see my banana now. Yes. Look at that. I'm gonna drizzle some plain Alpro soy yogurt over the top. We all love a good drizzle. A little drizzle. <laughs> this is not a drizzle. A drizzle just wouldn't have been enough. It looks so good. This is now my bowl covered in lots of stuff. Let's just mix this stuff in. Oh yes. Mm. This combination though is so good. Wow. Often if I've had fruit in the morning, especially dates because they're very gooey, I will just make sure I drink water and like swish it around in my mouth. And sometimes I'll use my like mini toothbrush to clean around my tooth. It just makes sure that there isn't any food residue stuck on my teeth. And that way we can keep pearly whites or thereabouts near enough. <laughs> We want some lemon. I've literally had it with myself. Oh my 
my god not okay holly not okay all right let's make a trek to the porters like this then uh, why it's raining as well i'm super annoyed at myself <laughs> just walked and ran back the kettle has already boiled now Should do the job. What do we want? Love a good pink lady apple. Yes. Sliding in too far. My favorite apples will forever be pink ladies. So I've just been writing an essay this morning and then I need to schedule a video because it is Sunday today, which I edited yesterday, so it's all ready. I just need to do a thumbnail, check it, upload it. Okie dokie, so I need to eat quite an early lunch today because I have dance at two to give me energy and to give me time to digest it. So we're gonna make oats. This is about a cup of oats-ish, I think. Chia seeds. I put these in the oats and then they blow up when I microwave it. And then I tend to have a very strange combination. You're gonna be like, who even is this girl? I tend to have like salady stuff like spinach to get my greens in because I didn't have a green smoothie this morning. Cucumber, mushrooms, tomato, stuff like that. I tend to have that as my kind of pre-lunch or just something before because I like something refreshing. And then I have my oats. It's not as if I have them together. I just have one before the other. These chia seeds, by the way, they're from like the Chia Co. Again, we got a whole bulk of them reduced. We are currently eating spinach. I'm gonna use this bowl from earlier. A little bit of spinach at the bottom. Cucumber. Whoa, there goes my tomato. Or a mushroom. Celery. And tomato. There we go. Right, I'm gonna cut this plum up ready and try not to eat all of it before I put it on my porridge, but we'll see. Oatmeal time. At the moment, I really just love the taste of plain oats. You might not agree with me, you don't have to agree with me, but as I said, I just go through phases where I like certain things. Sometimes I like turmeric cinnamon, that's kind of wintry, Christmassy. I'm gonna add some water to this and then it will go in the microwave. Which I never measure, but I think I have measured it before. I think it's about 240 mils. Let's shove you in the microwave. And we're gonna start it off for about a minute. Boom, stir it. We'll do another minute. So you're just essentially then microwaving until it reaches your desired consistency. So this might be all right for you, but it's not all right for me, too liquidy. So I normally microwave it for about two and a half minutes, but I put quite a lot of liquid in this. You might also think I'm really weird for eating oats at lunch, but personally, I love it. It's chucking it down right now. I didn't eat all the plum, but and then I've got frozen fruit, so raspberries, blueberries, mango, and pineapple. And the frozen fruit just melts because the oats are really warm. And there is my oats. I just added some like banana on top. And then there is just my half eaten bowl of salad stuff. It's me back with a helmet again. It's going to dance. It's like spitting and I've kept this one as like a hat so I don't get my hair wet, but feel like I'm getting quite a few strange looks of me in this helmet. Actually, one man just walked past me and smiled. So I was like, let's take it off. Sweat. Oh God. <laughs> Be careful, careful, careful. We just had contemporary. What is that? Is that an instrument? <laughs> so we yeah, carry on working. It's an architect. Oh, Jenny. Good. I met my head helmet twin. You look at that, that's honestly the best thing ever. <laughs> I really want you to dye it green, you can be my Luigi. Yeah, because then if I had a green one, I would be Jenny's Luigi to her Mario. We did contemporary, it was good, it was fun, wasn't it? Did you like it? Bang, 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 oh, this is good, it actually moves. <laughs> so it's a very niche style of contemporary. Wait, I'm looking for my bike, I don't. Wait, you no, can't get too going. much away. It's really like different to last year, but anyway. Yeah, that move was like what we kind of do. And then this is like mimicking the move. It's good. My Don't bike's here. My glutes are so sore. We roll on the floor on contemporary, basically just throw yourself on the floor. And my glutes on the hard floor were like, ah. Yeah, I just need to like stretch them out. You know, I did yoga this morning. They're still... Ah, oh, my hamstrings are quite tight today. Oh. Stretch out my hamstring. Super important to like stretch out and warm up 
before I do stuff. So like last year I injured myself because I didn't warm up properly. <sighs> my hamstrings and my glutes which is what I was trying to focus on this morning doing yin yoga but they still need some deep stretching so I thought that I would do an ab workout and film it for you guys so you guys requested more fitness style workout videos so it's really quick it's quite intense so I've got my mat here don't need a lot of space at all I'm gonna try and speak when I'm doing it I'm not sure if I will put a real-time version of it up on my channel as well but if you want that then I can do a real-time one so you can do it with me five to ten minutes I don't even know how long it takes me so I just start off with 25 sit-ups but with my legs out straight I do this to start with most of the time so that I don't hold any tension in my hips. So legs out straight and I do 25 crunches. more than 25. I lost count because I was trying to speak to you guys. Okay and then the next thing I'm going to do is target our obliques. So you bend your legs in and then you just fold them over to one side, you lie on your side and then you open up your elbows so you are essentially crunching but with your lower body twisted. I'm going to do 20 of these on this side. And then you swing your legs around to the other side and you repeat. If you can't get a position, it's easiest to lie on your side and then open up your elbow. And then a turn onto your front. Come into a high plank position and rotate so that we are on one arm, so side plank, and then we're gonna do 12 dips. This is again targeting obliques. Through high plank, rotate to the other side and you repeat 12 on this side. And you come into high plank and we're gonna do 20 mountain climbers but they're quite slow so one two and trying to touch elbow to knee you can then push back into downward dog just to give yourself a little breather walk it out and then we're going to come straight through into plank low plank this time and we're going to hold it. I have no clue how long you hold this for. And try and be as flat as possible. You don't want to be up here. And you don't want to be letting anything sink. You just got to breathe and think about something happy when you're doing plank. Because it's not the most exciting thing to do. And then we're going to do some dips on each side. So we're going to dip. We're gonna rock forwards and rock back a few times. Come in, Woo. sit up, and now we're gonna rotate back onto our backs. My mat is now skewed with, and now we are going to do eight full sit ups with our arms here. And then you're gonna come down. Not all the way down, and you're going to pulse. We're going to come up, and we're going to go back down. Eight of these. Then we're going to twist one. And stretch out. Just a little breather, then we're just going to Come right down, really slowly. Reach your legs up to the ceiling, we're gonna do some leg raises. So, I tend to put my hands under my bum. Just to reverse it the other way, just lift up your hips for a sec. Last exercise is some slow bicycles and some reaches up, so onto your back. So you're going to lift 
your upper body off and we're gonna do quite slow bicycle movements. So one, two. Then you're gonna keep your chest up, lift your legs in the air and you're gonna reach up to your toes. One, back to bicycle. Legs straight, reach up. Last set. And that, my friends, was my go-to ab workout. Sorry, my hair is in a really messy bun. You can break if you want to. And don't ask me why I do like 25 of these and 12 and eight of those. It's just completely random. If you felt your abs after that, then it's a good sign. Like it if you enjoyed this little mini workout with Holly. And tell me in the comments if you want more. My abs are worked now. I am going to have one of these trek bars this lighting is very strange it's dull outside and i've got lights on in my room i look semi blue strange so this is a trek protein flapjack thing and i'm also gonna have some coconut water because it's full of so much great stuff i just love it so much so a very coconutty snack coconut trek bar and coconut water. Trek bars are all fully vegan. Oh, it's got chocolate on the top. <sighs> oh, it smells coconutty. Look at that. Mm, this is so good. I'm trying to write an essay. My brain needs fuel and my body needs fuel. So I'm currently in the kitchen making dinner. I'm a bit later than I wanted to be because I was trying to sort out dissertation titles, stuff like this. I have only one pan going and i'm planning on having three pans going but i'm questioning that now because i already had a huge mare with this pan here which i just had to stop because it basically spilled over yeah i just had to deal with this mess over here but now i'm cutting onion because i'm making a stir fry kind of thing. Why does this always happen to me? Quite impressive. I didn't actually cry when cutting the onion. It probably wasn't strong. But anyway, we have three pans going. This pan is still going a bit crazy, but I think it's essentially done now. It is my very much loved mixture of lentils, quinoa, and pearl barley. Then this is a little stir fry thing with kale, mushroom, and onion, which I'm going to spice up with some paprika, ginger and coriander i thought give this combination a try and then turmeric is going to be added to that then this pan has just got currently broccoli in it at the moment but i'm going to add this stuff when it comes to the boil a bit because the broccoli needs a bit longer i think than this oh actually the button just stopped we need another 10 minutes adding some sauerkraut and tahini it really smells of ginger in here because of this stir fry thing that i made but yeah this is everything after getting tahini everywhere on the work surface oh it was a bit of a mare making dinner today but anyway we got there in the end yes i have a fork and a spoon here because i was trying to deal with the tahini that's my bowl of goodness for tonight i hope you enjoyed this video guys i'm just gonna do my teeth after i've had some almond milk and that's essentially it so i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed it please like it also like it for more workout style fitness stuff in future. Thank you as always guys and I'll speak to you very soon in my next video. Bye!